All right, so if we've got 0.4 grams of um, sodium, let's figure out how many moles of sodium we have. Yeah, I don't know why we've been why we haven't been rounding off before, but from now on we can round off more. Um, so very often it's good enough just to round to the nearest integer for these. Now let's review the systematic approach. What were our starting units? Uh, 0.4 grams. And what are our target units? Minus. Okay, go ahead and fix it then. Again, we can see how easy it is to make mistakes. So let's see what might be going wrong here. Here's our starting units. Here's our target units. Now, what's the next thing I should do? The next thing I should do is write these bottom units, because these are the most obvious units. What should these bottom units be? Something that goes cancel out with the uh, yeah. gram. So it will be gram. So that is the first thing we do. You can't just assume it's going to be grams per mole. Um, you have to be whatever it takes to do the conversion. Something that would have saved you here is, notice how, oh, I didn't do it here, but what, sometimes I do this, I should have been doing this more often, is you should show the cancellation. If you show the cancellation, you can see when things are not canceling. So it's, you should really put, you should put slashes in to show when things are canceling. I need to put the grams here to cancel with these grams. All right, so then the units up here have to be moles of sodium to make my target units. All right, and then that shows that the 23 has to go on the bottom, not on the top. And in this case, the number one goes on the top. So again, it's not true that the number one is always on the bottom. Sometimes it's on the top, and sometimes there is no number one. So you can't just put the number one in, one in automatically. You have to figure it out from your equivalency. All right, so the, the, the thing that might help us to avoid mistakes is putting in these slashes. Because if you had tried to put the slashes in before, you would have seen they wouldn't work. Because I think if, at first you put the grams on the top, and then you would see that's not working. OK, so then we have 0.4 divided by 23, or 0.017. Moles of sodium. Good. this problem. If we're starting with 0.5 kilograms of potassium, how many moles of potassium is that? So let's try working that out on paper again using the same approach. Should I just write 
39 is good enough. Yeah. That worked out good. All right, so we need to um, change into moles. So I think it's pretty obvious that we're going to need this conversion ratio between grams and moles. But again, the, the periodic table is not in kilograms, it's in grams. So you saw that you had to do a preliminary conversion. Before you could use this ratio, you had to get out of kilograms and into grams. And it's good that now you're in the habit of putting in these slashes, because that shows us that we're putting the units in the right place. And then, then you were careful, you had to be careful to put the 1,000 in the right place. When you put it in the right place, many small units make up one big unit. So that's correct. Uh, and then in the same case here, we don't put the one on the bottom, we put the one on the top. We need these grams on the bottom to cancel these grams on the top. Uh, so this would be 0.5 times 1,000 divided by 39, or 12.8. 12.8 moles. Okay. So if you're not working with grams, you have to change it to grams before you can use the periodic table. Good. Okay, that's some good progress.